Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com and today I'm going to talk about the agility of your brush tool. And the secret is keyboard shortcuts. Okay, it's really not that big of a secret, but this is going to improve the way you paint in immeasurable ways. So listen up. First off, there are going to be commands that you use a lot more often. For me, there are things relating to the brush tool. So I'm panning the document, and that's the space bar. I'm switching between brush and eraser, and I certainly don't want to go back to the menu for that. So I have two hotkeys, one to be brush and one to switch back to eraser. With the brush, I like to be able to have a small diameter or a large diameter. Again, keyboard shortcuts. I also like to hotkey the color picker. It's a simple thing, but it makes a big difference. And beyond simple hotkeys, I also like to have a few actions. So things I do often are make a new layer. It's a very short action. Single key press, and now I have a new layer. And that is very nice for the way I like to paint with temp layers. I have another action that gives me a new multiply layer. So that action is very short as well. Make a new layer, set the layer to multiply. And this allows me to glaze. I also have a third button that is Merge Down. And I've actually set this to a single key press by using an action, but you could set it to a standard keyboard shortcut if you like. So I've got one shortcut to give me a new layer, and another one to merge that down onto my stack. And these might not be the exact keyboard shortcuts that you use all the time, but for me, these are the keys that I'm always using. Same with Zoom In and Zoom Out. I'm constantly doing that, so for me, I'll put those keyboard shortcuts near my fingertips. Now this may not seem revolutionary or very exciting, but I know that artists like to avoid technical stuff. And there's really nothing very exciting sounding about keyboard shortcuts. But if you have certain commands, especially ones relating to the brush tool, you're going to be using them all the time. You might as well take some time, design a new keyboard layout, and this is going to involve remapping the keyboard shortcuts, and you can find that in the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts menu. But once you've set up some of these basic brush controls to be on the left half of the keyboard where your hand normally sits, you are going to love the new layout. Now this really doesn't have much to do with traditional art, but it is a surefire way to improve your painting. And it can be hard to explain exactly why this is, but something about removing the technical clutter and just focusing on the painting will really lighten the load and will make you a much better artist. So if you guys have any interesting layout of your own, let's hear about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and good luck painting.